morning, it is Tuesday and I thought I'd try and actually film in the morning before four o'clock in the afternoon today. We're just having a break from homeschool. The girls do their first two lessons and then we have a good half hour break around 11 o'clock. So they're just having a snack and I'm going to do the same. Uh, while Phoebe's been doing her maths this morning, I was sitting beside her and um, repurposing the granny squares that I found in the box yesterday. So I'll show you that in a second. Oh, Phoebe's coming. And um, my school are doing a tournament on TT Rockstars. And they, they are. They were on 41 out of all the scores, and I was playing on it, and I got them up to 40. Yes, so they're doing a, a, a tournament with all the schools in, is it all the schools in Kent? Yes. Yeah. All the schools um, on TT Rockstars. So Phoebe went on and did a bit this morning and got her school up from number 41 in the leaderboard to number 40, and she's very pleased. Well, she should be and I am pleased that I made a teddy bear blanket. Successful morning all round. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea now. I have made a little bear blanket and I know it looks like it needs edging but it's not getting it because this is just a way of using up an ancient old pile of granny squares that I found yesterday and I had 10 uh, little granny squares. So with the 10th one, can you see it? It's right here. <laughs> It's a pocket, so the bear who's using it can keep its, I don't know, its its own bear or its bits and bobs that it might need during the night when it's having a nap. <laughs> so there you go. First unfinished find is now recreated into something that can be used. I am making um, carrot and quinoa fritters. It is a recipe from our lovely friend Joe Wicks. Here he is. This is the guy we do PE with every morning. And this is, he is lean in 15 book. He's done a few of these, so I don't know which one it is. It's the one with him in a green t-shirt holding a burger. Now, because the recipe is obviously in the book, I can't um, share it with you. However, I've had a look online and he does have available for free um, online his carrot and courgette fritters. So I thought um, I would just show you how these turn out, because they're going to be very similar, and um, link to the carrot and courgette ones below. Might try the carrot and courgette ones later in the week. lunch I've just cleared up um, Dan's put the dishwasher on he's currently sitting in the sunshine in the garden with a nice lolly <laughs> such is the life of the furloughed man um, I am going to eat a biscuit get a diet coke from the fridge and go and crack on with about three hours of work because that's what I've got to do with my afternoon when I would just rather be I want to do some drawing today I really want to do another still life as part of my drawing practice from my book I know I mention it all the time, but I will share it with you. I bought this for myself as a birthday present, so you've seen it a million times, but I love it. This book is a joy. It's, it teaches you to, to fall in love with drawing again, but it's also kind of autobi autobiographical. Auto, auto, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I really, really enjoy it. And the pictures in it are just fantastic. Anyway, I'm only gabbling on because I'm trying to put off the fact that I have to go and sit at the computer and work. So I better go and get on with it. <laughs> I 
I am about to be made to run through a sprinkler in the garden. So I've got my swimming costume on, which is why I'm holding the um, camera at this level exactly. Because as much as I have very little shame, I'm not going on YouTube <laughs> in a swimming costume. I have got shorts on as well. Dan, I, I'm, I'm not frightening them with that. Dan's posing outside the window. He's going in too. I am not happy. <laughs> I'm wet. I want a nice warm bath. Right, while my tea is brewing, I'm having a Roy Boss tea. Um, I just wanted to show you this. Dan just went to my mum's to drop off some shopping for her and she um, gave him this to bring back. Um, it is the old curtains that were in her bungalow, um, which were there when she moved in. So she's taken them down because obviously she's redecorated and she's washed them. But I had expressed an interest in the fabric um, when she did take them down. So she's passed it on to me because I think this will make really lovely fabric for bags. Really like this kind of old chintzy fabric it's really beautiful really isn't it i know it's out of date now but it is pretty and that blue is gorgeous so i think i'm going to be making some bags with this she's even put in the old uh, tie backs look at those um and here you can see uh my next project to finish off i need to put an eyeball remind myself how to sew it shut i think it's just a whip stitch and then stuff it and then i'll have a lovely little hanging birdie it is nine o'clock at night and I'm just looking at the weather app on my phone and it is currently 24 degrees at nine o'clock at night on the 19th of May. I've just had a bath so that's why my hair's all fluffy. I'm not a happy bunny. I'm hoping it will cool down and freshen up overnight and it says that Come Saturday, it's going to go down to 18, so I'll be rejoicing in the garden. Oh, but then it's going up again on Monday. <laughs> I'm not a hot weather person. Anyway, I've had a bath. Phoebe's just gone to bed. Lilia's sitting behind the camera making faces at my my weather whinging. And I think we're going to watch... What are we going to watch tonight, Lilia? Are you, are you in front... Are you, are, you, are you editing tonight or are you in here tonight? She's asking me if I'll be in the kitchen editing tonight because she wants to watch... Marvel! <laughs> she wants to watch Marvel fi films with Dan because Dan, much to his uh, glee, has um, managed to get Lilia into Marvel films and they're on films and they're on Doctor, Doctor Strange, Strange at the moment. Benedict well, I'll tell you what, I might go and watch some vlogs for half an hour whilst you're watching that. Say night night, Dan. Good night. Excuse me, I invented mm -hmm. that. No, Eric Morecambe. Eric Morecambe invented that. Back in the 1960s, that. darling. Okay, let's see Lilia's Eric Morecambe. Hang on. They're falling off my face. Woohoo! Woohoo!